What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory Mode. <laughs> and I guess the T-Rex is doing an intro too, huh? Golly. Anyways, last time we left off, we opened up Jurassic World over here after uh, making a T-Rex area over here, as well as an herbivore area over here. We currently have Triceratops and I think Stegosaurus, or uh, not Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, I think? Or Ankylosaurus? I don't know where they are right now, though. There are the rangers right there, though. And yeah, I don't see the dinos. Oh, wait, there's one. There's an Ankylosaurus right there. Okay, cool. But yeah, we only have like three dinos right now in the park. I do know I got a few comments of you guys reminding me. Yeah, you know that uh, the big circle from the innovation center, the, uh, the, the, the visitor center, whatever that is, this is supposed to be the big lagoon for the Mosasaurus. Well, that definitely makes sense, especially towards the end of the movie. What the heck? And I, I don't know if I want to spoil it or anything like that, but <laughs> you know what happens at the very end of the movie. But uh, yeah, I, I suppose we could change this over to the lagoon a little bit later. Uh, but for right now, you know, at the very beginning of the park, it does make sense to at least have an herbivore area here and then uh, maybe in the future like i said we could uh, change it over to the lagoon maybe make another herbivore area over here something like that uh rather than just leaving it empty until we're actually able to make that lagoon because uh, i think it's currently locked right now right enclosures yeah we have to research it the lagoon is where's that at is it this oh i guess it is i need to progress mission need a park rating of two <laughs> in order to get the lagoon okay yeah that's going to be easy just to switch over and that'd be pretty cool because that's the first time we're ever going to have like aquatic critters and stuff like that in this game so that's going to be really cool uh let's actually unpin that i don't know why that's pinned there you go cool anyways amenity coverage low yeah i know it's yelling at me right now because <laughs> at the end of the last episode we got this mission over here to provide food amenity drink amenity shopping amenity and increase guest comfort overall and currently we have nothing because we literally just opened up the park and there's nothing over here for them to spend their money on so <laughs> we need to take care of that i think you guys commented saying i should definitely get at least medium uh amenities to start out with and i think yeah i think you need to research that first so that would be this and basic amenity oh wait uh basic amenity modules oh yeah because it'll, it'll come with more modules and stuff like that too yeah uh, it's a lot more flexible too to kind of balance out what type of uh guests are in the area i suppose right uh but either way we just need five of this log uh, logistics so we just need yeah we can just take all three of these people right here boom and start the task and it's going to be a little bit quicker too so it's about two minutes until that's going to be ready to go increase guest com guest comfort i don't know what other way we're actually able to take care of that i suppose if anything i think uh one way is to actually get wider paths yeah see like this is a big wide path right here and yeah there's no shelters over here by this uh, innovation center but don't really make sense to have that there honestly uh but there is one there definitely want to have one over here though and then another one over here. Just just makes sense to have them near the actual viewing galleries and stuff like that. Just to have pretty good uh like safety rating and all that kind of stuff. I guess you describe it as right. So let's actually see. Do I want to spend that type of money? Emergency shelter is seventy five thousand. I guess we'll do that here. Yeah, we can place it like right there. Yeah, just place it right across the street from every viewing gallery, and then we're good to go. The safety and all that kind of stuff should be good for all the guests. So that would be this. And then yeah, vehicle under threat and all that kind of jazz. I know. I kind of want to leave this open, just like I said uh, previously. Maybe we could have a small enclosure there for a dino or something like that, right? But uh, for right now, let's just put the uh, emergency shelter. I guess we'll put that right there. And then uh, that's basically right across the street from that. And there's even a uh, gate over there, too. So that's going to be really good. But let's check the management views. Shelter coverage. Whenever those are done, it's going to be green. Oh, yep. Boom. Green right there. And this one's going to be green here. And I don't think there's going to be any red except for over here by the uh, visitor center, right? So... We should be good to, yep, yep, look at that. Should be good to go uh, in this regard. A little bit of orange over here, though, but not that big of a deal. Seems like everything's pretty good. And boom, there you go, research complete. Awesome. So we can indeed place down these amenities over here for all the guests. So, oh man, one of the ranger jeeps, or like like G-Wagon things, is kind of ninja. <laughs> yeah, it's got all the doors ripped off. I see it right there, yeah. Look at that, it's like basically like a quarter health. <laughs> yeah, I need to watch out for that. But we do need to get those uh, attractions, or not attractions, uh, amenities, that's what they are. Uh, let's see, so where could we put this? Yeah, see, getting a medium amenities and all that kind of stuff, it, it, it is kind of backfiring a little bit here because uh, I guess we could place it about right here. That's about as close as you can get. Uh, it's backfiring a little bit here because of how much bigger it is. But, uh, so that one's, yeah, okay, that's, that's burgers, that's food. We, we can configure that whenever it's done being built. That's fine. So I get more amenities, medium amenity. We place another one like right here, right next to it. And then, of course, we need attractions, all that kind of jazz place out over here as well i'm just trying to keep this in line at least with what the movie had designed right because there's like this whole strip of shops uh, i don't know if there's i don't know if there's room there for a uh medium amenity yeah see that battery thing like right there i guess we could always move that especially because i do want to research just so we're not relying on this backup generators all the time where in the world is the large substation power station here it is right here power station are we able to research that right now we are okay cool 
Uh, oh, wait, I don't... Yeah, 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 we're good to go, yeah. I don't even think we have a staff center, but I should definitely consider getting one, just so we could actually give our uh, staff a rest whenever they're uh, done doing all this research and stuff like that, right? But uh, once we place down a power station or whatever, we'll place it, like, I don't know, like, over here or something like that, just kind of out of the way, and then uh, we'll have pylons and stuff over here, and we get rid of this backup generator. And I think right here I accidentally placed down a burger thing. I forgot to configure it beforehand. <laughs> so uh, we'll place food and drink right here, so let's go and be drinks. There you go. Then uh, let me just configure this real quick. So right now we have cheap burgers and we have a lot of nature and a lot of general guests. Let's see who's going to appeal. Oh, wow. Vegan buffet. That's actually decent. Yeah, there you go. That's going to be perfect. At least starting out right now, right? Uh, I do know you guys said previously, and we've done this in the past as well, uh, just hovering over a bunch of things here to see what gives us, gives us the most money. It seems like vegan, buff vegan buffet was actually a pretty good choice there. So let me continue doing that over here. It looks like fossil display. Yep. Boom. Uh, another one for general and nature guests. Uh, but let me just go through all these right here and try and... Oh, whoa, something was fourth out. Wow, ske yeah, skeleton display. There's like three arrows for general, three arrows for uh, nature right there. Perfect, boom. I don't know if I'm ever going to get anything better than that, honestly. Like, we're at uh, 4896. Uh, yeah, I I'm not seeing anything new. 48, yeah, just boom. We're making great money. We're we could use a little bit more nature, just a little bit more, but nothing's giving us more nature right now without... Losing out on a little bit of money, so I, I think we're fine right now as is. I don't think we need to accommodate that much more, right? But, so they not want shopping here, or, or what? I don't know. It is, it, yeah, it is powered. It's not It's not unpowered or anything like that. Literally zero guests. I don't know what's going on with the shop. I might be missing something here, you guys. Water feature. Yeah, and, and nothing's making us profitable over here. No one wants to shop right here, specifically. <laughs> I think it might be because... uh. Yeah, I don't know. This might actually be a pretty bad spot. Maybe we could put it next to the viewing galleries like they need to be, right? So if we look at the map, or uh, not the map, but the management views, if we look at uh, amenity coverage. Wait, why is this red here? Clearly there's a thing right there. There's high demand. A, a shopping thing. Why are they just not going there? I don't know. Very strange. But at least we have amenity coverage right here for food. We're doing a really good uh, amount of coverage right there. We could place another one like on this side, maybe by the T-Rex, and that's going to cover... This bit over here that's red, but I still don't know why that's red. Like, right there specifically. That's very strange. Hmm. wonder what happened if I move that to, say, move the building. Instead of having it, like, right here. What if I put it, like, right... Oh, whoops. Whoops. I don't know what I just clicked on right there. <laughs> what if I just uh, pick this up, move the entire building, put it, like, right here next to this viewing gallery? Like, boom. Like that. Like, of course, they have to rebuild it. They have to deconstruct that and then rebuild it over there. But is that, is that actually going to fix that? I don't know. Let's, let's see. Then, of course, over here. Medium amenity. We'll place this over here by the uh, the, by the T-Rex, just like I said. So we'll place this like uh, I'm sure to buy the standard path. Yeah. See, I don't know what's going on with this. It might be. Ah, uh, I can place it about right there. That's that's good. And right here. Mm, I don't know. I kind of like. Oh yeah, we could place it about right here. There you go. Cool. So that's uh, another shopping right there. Cool. Whoops, that's shopping. Ah, I wanted to make that like burgers or whatever, but anyways, I, I guess we could place burger. And gift and or uh yeah burger gift or not burger but <laughs> food <laughs> food gift and drink over here uh let's make this one food there you go cool and then we'll place another one over here for drink and then i, I guess they don't always have to be uh medium amenities and stuff like that but whatever so let's place this about right here so i saw it was, uh okay yep there you go i think because that's kind of curved right there it's kind of getting in the way a little bit so we have to push that back and boom there you go so now we can place the pathway down at least like so and now it's connected up awesome is this connected up if it's not, there you go. Cool. I think it was connected up, so that's good. So, uh, oh, wow, look at this. We're actually doing pretty well on food coverage at 34%, and it's, this one isn't even done being built. So we're going to hit that 50%, no problem. Shopping amenity coverage at that 50% already. Boom. There's that. Then drink amenity. Yeah, we never made that other drink over here, so let's go do that. So let's see. Did that actually fix it by just moving it? It did. What happened? I don't know what happened there. Like, it was right there. It was working just fine, and then I just move it, and then boom. Suddenly, there's people. Look at that. There's 81 people. Of course, I could configure this to be a little bit better, a little bit more efficient, actually profitable. Yeah, with hats. Okay, what well, water feature? I don't think I need to do that. I, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're at 120 right there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm not going to add, add more expenses, I guess you could describe it as. But if I added a drink shop over here, is that actually going to give me money now? Like, like is, is it going to work here, like, at all? Because it's red, obviously. Like, yeah, we had to drink shop, and then we switched it over to the shop. I don't know. I kind of want to just place it over here, just to be safe. Or maybe move the bathroom, and then... Yeah, we don't have a room there, even if I wanted to, yeah. Man. Alright, well, if I put the drink shop right here again... There you go. Well, let's see what happens. But Let's go over to the other side, over here by the T-Rex. Let's go take care of this. 
because we already have a drink, uh, food, drink, and shopping over here. Let's configure this to be a pro yeah. Well, it's already profitable right now with cheap burgers and stuff. But uh, let me see what else they could have. They could have vegan, but we already have that. So I don't want to have a uh, repetitive stuff. We have waffles there too, which is a pretty good meme. I don't know if I want to have that. Or uh, I guess the second best is yeah, cheap burgers. I guess we'll keep that. That's fine. <laughs> Let's get the skeleton display because we know that's going to bring in the money, right? So there you go. Is there anything going to... Oh, oh, some stuff. Oh, yeah, the aquarium. Wow. Aquarium bringing in a lot of money. 9,300. I don't know if anything's going to beat that. Yeah, nothing's going to beat 9,300 right there for the uh, for the food, for the cheap burgers. Nice. And then over here for Boba. And I don't think anything else is going to be... Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. The fountain. Ooh, yeah. Didn't we have that in the cheap burgers? I think so. I don't think anything else is going to bring in any more money than that. But uh, for right now, yeah, wow. We just need to bring in the uh, bring up the guest comfort it's at 21% right now. Of course, there's that number again. <laughs> now we need to hit 90%. We could do that easily. I haven't even configured this. Uh, let's see what I want to put this uh, shop as. It's currently an action figure shop, but uh, maybe we'll make it a t-shirt shop. Yeah, there you go. Cool. But of course, skeleton display. You, you got to know that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything else right there. Yeah, <laughs> I guess we'll keep it as is. Uh, we're making the most money right now with just the skeleton display. So we'll keep that there. Then, of course, let's go check up on the building over here the drink building that we just placed down see if it's making any money this time around or uh yes yes vegan buffet here's boba yo there's actually people here now what what's going on with this i don't know what's going on with this earlier but uh, let's make this ice slushies because we already have a uh, boba at the other place but let me configure this real quick with uh of course skeleton display <laughs> and uh what else can we configure here yeah, I'm not seeing anything else here that's going to be good for that, unfortunately. So that's about as good as that's going to get. So we actually have some pretty good uh, money hopefully coming in now, right? What are we at right now? Wow, look at the finances. Holy heck, that's insane, you guys. We're making some good money. What, what are we making profit-wise? What's our uh, actual profit? How do I? Oh, it's literally right there. It's about 100000 per minute. That's not bad. Honestly, not even bad. Considering we were making like literally nothing earlier on. <laughs> now we have all these shops up and running. We're actually making some money back. That's good. I like that. Nice. Profit's kind of good. Uh, Kind of decent. Not, not bad. Uh, But I do, of course, want to change these shops here in the future. Of course, earlier on, I did say I wanted to keep or uh, change out this battery over to the power station. So where is that going to be? Backup generator, small power station. Here we go. Okay, cool. So we could do what we've always done in the past and just kind of hide these power stations just kind of in the back or uh, literally at the front. <laughs> so we can put that like right there and then, of course, put these pylons all over the place. Then, uh, let's see. So we'll put this here. We'll actually put a uh, substation about right. Uh, right there is fine. We'll put another one here. We'll put another stub station about right there. You see, that's fine, too. Then we'll do a... Uh, I don't know if we need to do anything else right there. But, of course, we do need it to wrap around and connect up. Wait, did I ever... Uh, why is it not powered? Oh, it's not powered because it's not done being built. Okay, yeah. It's at the pathway over here, too. Whoops. There's now trees and stuff over here accidentally. <laughs> Let's... Uh, whoop, there you go. Cool. So now that's connected up. Of course, we can, we can keep the backup generators just in case the power station does go offline uh, during a storm or anything like that. It'll still be powered and uh, still still keep things online which is going to be good especially for important stuff like you know hacking fences over here that are electrified to keep dinos inside right so i, I guess we can keep some of those up uh, and online and stuff but let's continue building the pylons from over here let's keep building them around the circumference of this herbivore area which is going to be a future lagoon area which is going to be pretty cool uh that's already fine yeah that's good and we'll place a substation somewhere over here so we'll place a substation right here yeah that way everything's covered here including the fences boom cool all right nice and then uh if anything else needs to be powered we could easily just branch off some of these pylons and we'll be good to go boom there you go it's online now the uh power station's online cool 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 and this is getting low on fuel i don't think we need to replace that on fuel right now alternative power distribution yeah we got that last time i don't think we uh oh we got the inca hey awesome so we're making two hundred thousand per minute this time wow it doubled oh wait no that's income per minute yeah we're making about a hundred thousand profit per minute and yeah, it's right there. 105,000 profit per minute, 200,000 income per minute. Not bad there. We're at about a one and a third star right there. That's not bad. An alternative power distribution. Yeah, I don't think I ever used that last time. Let's actually read about it and maybe use it this time around. Avoid excessive pylons by utilizing this alternative power distribution system. Chain them together to create larger power networks. Ooh. Kind of want to research that, but we don't have the scientists to do that just yet. Unfortunately, though, right? Uh, we also need to get guest comfort up, as you can see right there. It's at 22%. Let me see how we could actually improve that by looking at management views over here. How do I do that here? Guest appeal. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what? We need to get a uh, where is that guest attraction? Yeah, I need to research that, though. Ooh, OK. I guess we'll do that real quick. So am I able to do that? Yes, I can. Basic guest attraction module and a guest attraction. OK, 200,000 uh, research that. Yeah, it's just going to be like, what, two minutes of profit? Boom. Easy. <laughs> so let's actually research that with them. And yeah, we need to get that staff center going as well. Uh, need to remember doing that. 
Uh, but right now, increasing guest comfort. Right down in the park rating management. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was another thing you could do. Look at the park rating management. Oh, man, I was literally right there. Park rating management views, which means this right here. Okay, so get... Oh, yeah, we need to get a hotel. I don't know why I never made that earlier. <laughs> guest comfort. Here it is right here, okay. Yeah, transport rating 34%, restroom coverage 56%, so we could improve it by placing down a few more restrooms. I think we only have, like, one or two. Uh, so we need to look at the restroom map, and then transport rating... We don't have any train. We don't have. See, that's what I was talking about last time. I don't know if we could use a uh, place down a monorail and help out with the transport, or if we need to research that or what. Where is that? But yeah, we need to place down the bathrooms. Where are those at? Restrooms. Here it is, right here. Yeah. Well, at least it pulls up the map right here. But yeah, we have them right there. We have them right there. Also, place them. Yeah, you know. Yeah, makes sense. Place them right next to the emergency shelter. And yeah, there you go. If anything, it does. It does require power for some reason. Emergency shelter not require, or unless it's like built in. Maybe they have like a built-in backup generator or backup battery or some of that. I don't know. Well, let's place down the let's see restroom right there. Basically, restrooms like right next to the uh, emergency shelter. Seems like it makes sense. So there you go. Let's actually replace this with a substation. There you go. Place this with a substation. That way, that's powered. Bob boom. Then let's actually connect this up. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Let's make this continue going this way. There you go. Instead of a, uh, we'll place a substation right here. There you go, cool. We'll make that look prettier here in the future if we ever need it, but yeah, I want to avoid placing uh, pylons too close to the pathways. That way I don't block uh, future buildings I might want to place down, right? But whenever this is done, the restroom's going to be good, and hopefully the guest comfort's up a little bit. So it was at 21% just a minute ago, and now it's only at 22 so it seems like the restroom thing didn't really do that big of a job. Look at the restroom coverage. Yeah, it's a little bit red here. Oh, wait, why is that not powered? Oh, requires. Oh, it must have. Yeah, that must have run out of power right there, and it's just outside of range, huh? Let me see. Yeah, I think it's just outside of range. Oh wait, no, it is powered. No, that's the battery with the big, big uh, radius around it. Yeah. Okay, let's connect that up. I don't know why that wasn't connected, but there you go. Boom. And then we have a guest attraction too. So uh, yeah, definitely want to place down guest attractions. Place those down, and then hotels too. Do I have that research, or do I have to? Uh... Yeah, we have a small hotel. Okay, cool. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't have a hotel previously, so yeah, definitely makes sense. Uh, I guess we could place it somewhere here at the very beginning. That's a different uh, design from what we had previously, which is cool. Mm, so this is a small hotel, which is actually going to provide a little bit of dinosaur visibility. I don't want to place it here at the very beginning. I feel like placing it here, or at least maybe on this side, if I can maybe, maybe what I could do. Let's try and see if we could find a, uh, oh, here's a little bit of a blind spot right here. Ooh, okay, cool. So here's a little bit of a blind spot right there. Maybe we could place the hotel right here. It's going to cover up some blind spot right there. There you go. And then, of course, maybe it's going to help out with the guest uh, comfort and all that kind of stuff, right? So there you go. Cool. And I think uh, this should be powered by... Is it by that substation? Let me check the uh, management views. Make sure that's powered. Oh, it's just barely powered by that battery right there. Ooh, I might want to actually change this uh, pylon to a substation then. Okay. Just so we don't... Because uh, I know that battery is probably going to run out of power here somewhat soon. So <laughs> it's probably going to make the hotel uh, go offline, right? But we're at 26% right now on the guest comfort. Seems like, uh, oh, and then that uh, finish over here, it did. Okay, cool. Looks like the ACU or the response facility needs a resupply on fuel and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's fill that up. I guess I'll fill up the batteries too, but I don't really need to. How expensive is that? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. I don't know if I'll really need to do that. I might just I just do that like, like 50 at a time instead of doing the full uh, refill there, just so it stops yelling at me, right? <laughs> but there you go, plus 50 fuel. There you go, cool. And we have to continue increasing guest comfort, which means if we go to this, go to guests, Transport rating. Yeah, that's the main thing dragging us down is transport rating right there, unfortunately. I don't know how to get that up, but we do have 100% guest approval. I love that. Dinosaur welfare is really good. Incident prevention, no incidents. Safety rating is pretty good, too. And publicity rating is pretty good, too. Uh, it's just that the guest comfort's pretty low right now. I don't know why. Oh, wait, yeah. Literally accommodation rating. It's like extreme, like blood red right there. I think that is the uh, hotel there, right? Uh, so we should be good to go once this is done. And I might have to place down a second hotel. Either that or research the large hotel. I don't know. But yeah, transportation. I don't know how to take care of that right now. But we're taking care of accommodation here. So it should be good. Let's actually speed through this real quick. And guest count for set 26%. How much is it going to jump up to? Because we need to hit 90% here, you guys. It's like 63 right there. Nice. And boom. We have a large uh, hotel research available. Okay, cool. We don't have enough. Uh, we don't have good enough scientists for this, unfortunately. Let's go up to here. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more space here. So I, what I need to do now is research the staff center. That way we could hire more scientists as well as give them a uh, rest too. So definitely want to do that. I think that's infrastructure, right? Uh, here it is right here, staff center. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's really, really cheap. 
So we just get to, uh, let's get you and I, I don't have a choice. <laughs> that other person doesn't have any logistics. So yeah, let's just research that real quick. Place it here at the very uh, start of the park where it's just kind of out of the way. No one's really going to see it. No one's going to really notice it there. They're going to be too distracted by all this other stuff, right? We do have the wide path available as well as some other stuff. Let's actually see what that is. It's a wide path right there. Then uh, we have, oh, here we go. Here we go. Moderate. We finally have it. So yeah, I was wondering how are we going to take care of that transportation rating? Boom. You do indeed get the monorail. Okay, just like the first game, you are able to place down monorails. Kind of want to leave some room uh, open over here because I don't think we're able to connect it up to this. Unfortunately, that's just the arrival point. Uh, we have to have our own like self-contained monorail within the park for transportation. So we could definitely have a uh, station like right here, right outside the very beginning. Uh, then we could have a... I, I guess for right now, just because the park is relatively small, we're still starting out. We can just have the one drop, maybe like right here next to the hotel or some of that. Or the... Next, uh, the only station right there, and then it just kind of goes back and forth and back and forth, right? Uh, rather than, I, I think the monorail also gives uh, dinosaur visibility, so maybe we could make it go in a circle like this, and maybe even go above the T-Rex area. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Just the ones that we actually research that, but right now we're at 55% guest comfort. It actually went down for some reason. Definitely want to look into why that might have gone down. So we get guest routing. This is still fine. Yeah, no reds developing anywhere here. Not No orange or yellow, even. So that's really good, too. Profit generation. I guess some good money there, good money there. Good money there, good money there. Okay, yeah, cool. Might want to look into attractions too, just because we did research that, right? Uh, in the large hotel right there. I don't think we were able to do that. Yeah, we didn't have enough skill. So yeah, we, we need that. That's why I got the uh, the staff center on the way. It's almost done, actually. Yeah, seven seconds. Then boom, we're good to go on that. But I do want to get the attraction over here. So we can actually get a reason for people to come all the way back here and see the T-Rex. Other than, of course, the T-Rex. <laughs> large amenity. And then, yeah, I'm like, it's literally right there. It says monorail station. Why is it? Oh, yeah, it's attraction. Obviously, so there you go. <laughs> Guess the traction. We can place it like all the way back here, I suppose. Uh, oh man, I could actually fit it like right there. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's place it like this, I guess. Or you know, yeah, you know what? Let's place it like this. I guess, I guess, yeah. Let's do it like this. Yeah, this is fine. Guess the traction. We'll put it like right there. Cool. Two hundred thousand. I think it's an arcade or something like that right off the bat. Or no, it's a cinema. Yeah. I like it's a general. It's it's just going to attract like everyone a little bit, which is good. Uh, then in the future we have to do research and get some better stuff. But I don't know if that's going to affect the uh, guest comfort. I'm like, maybe it will. Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? But we did just finish up the staff center. So let's actually place that down. Paleo Medical Staff Center. There it is right there. Yeah. So I guess we'll just place it like up here at the start or something like that. You know, just kind of out of the way, hidden a little bit. It's just because it is a small building. So we can definitely uh, sneak it in like that. Cool. And then uh, we'll do this and go like that. And then we'll do... Ah, I can't connect it up there, unfortunately, man. All right, I guess I'll connect it up here then. <laughs> there you go. Okay, everything's done there. Okay, cool. And then we have to uh, give our scientists a little bit of a rest. And I think that unlocks two more scientist slots. So we could actually uh, get more scientists to actually uh, get more like logistics rating and all that kind of stuff. And then we get to research a larger tell. But I think right now, if we look at the accommodation rating, at least the guests aren't red there anymore. Yeah, accommodation rating is at 66%. So we could indeed get a second hotel. Don't know if that's going to take us to 90 something percent. But yeah, transport rating. I think that's that's definitely going to help out a ton getting that monorail as well, just because it's literally nothing right now. Yeah, Jan over here, this guy. Mm, yeah, let's give him a rest. Yeah, we can't give him training or anything like that right now, unfortunately. But let's give him the rest, and then Ivor or Ayer over here. She doesn't need her, she does not need a rest. But we could hire more scientists. Don't know if we need to right now, or don't know if I want to right now while those guys are resting. I do want to see. Oh, and hey, look at that guest attraction modules one is unlocked. Or. Yeah, yeah, available for research. <laughs> but I do want to look at the uh, actual research. Amenities, guest comfort, attractions. I think guest comfort, right? And then we look at, uh, yeah, large hotel right there. So we need uh, nine logistics right there. I don't know if we're going to get rid of anyone. And then we only need five. Uh, yeah, we could do a monorail right now, actually. I think we have enough scientists to do the monorail. We only need five. I think we have six right now between the three uh, people who actually have logistics rating. So <laughs> we could definitely do that. And I guess for right now, we just we just place down a second small hotel. Probably somewhere here at the very uh, start. Like maybe, I don't know. Let's look at, look, look at the map a little bit here. Look at where there might be a hole in the dinosaur visibility. No, uh, no, no. There's one here in the middle, but we could take care of that with a viewing platform. Uh, I guess we could just place it like right here or something like that. that that'd probably be fine, honestly. And then we could place the monorail on the other side, I suppose, huh? So I, I guess we'll do that. At least for right now, we can get a, a small hotel here. It will provide a little bit of dinosaur visibility, but you're not going to... Unless... Uh, could place it here too or actually take you and there's a little bit of blind spots there but how often is something going to come there so i'm like right here is a really good spot because there's like this big area right there that wasn't covered but i wonder what, yeah you know what i just i guess i'll place it here so uh there you go cool so place that down like that 
and then we'll place down the monorail on the other side once we have that research. So, uh, all these scientists, yeah, about 30 seconds left, and then they'll be good to go, and then we'll actually get the monorail going. That's going to be great, especially because we are uh, eating into our money a lot here. Yeah, we're, we're at 169,000 profit per minute. The profit did go up a little bit right there, which is good, but of course, the more stuff I buy, the more upkeep, and uh, therefore, less profit and all that kind of stuff, right? So... Uh, I feel like this extra accommodation over here for the guests is going to help out in the long term, and of course the monorail will as well, and boom, there you go, the scientists are done. Uh, but I, I still need to be very careful with my money, don't want to spend all of it, you know? Uh, we're at, I think we're at like 10 million when we started, we're at 5 million just a minute ago, now we're down to 4, or 4.7 million, so definitely want to keep my eye on that. Let's go over here to Attractions Guests, go to Monorail, and then, uh, okay, boom. So yeah, we can indeed research this, let's get you guys to research that. Boom, there you go, cool. And that's also why I'm hesitant to hire more scientists, because, you know, more scientists cost like $200,000 per minute or something like that, right? Or uh, like $200,000 up front and then like 16, 17, 20, $30,000 per minute. You know, that adds up after a little while. And of course, this hotel is almost done. We're at 55%. What's it going to be here in just a second after it updates? Is it going to update? Is that 63? Okay, it didn't really change right there. You know, the main thing dragging us down right now, unfortunately, is of course the, uh, the transportation rating, I believe, right? Yes, you were at 100% on accommodation right now. Restroom coverage could be a little bit better. Shelter coverage could be a little bit better. It's at 91% right there. But the main thing dragging us down is that transport rating. So let's definitely take care of that with this research for the monorail. And then we'll place that right here. And I guess, I don't know. I, I guess we just have it going straight through this and then just kind of landing here. That way it does have a little bit of dinosaur visibility. But we don't have to spend like a bunch of like literally all of our money making a huge like big track all around the park. Uh, we could always expand it here in the future. We could always modify it here in the future when we have more money. But, you know, hey, look at that. We're almost at uh, 5 million again. Cool. But uh, this is almost done. Five seconds left. And boom, there you go. The monorail is good to go. All right, nice. And when is this going to get unlocked? Oh, we need to have a uh, two-star rating and 500 get. Wait, how many do I have in the park right now? I had, uh, yeah, we have more than 500 get. Yeah, we have that, no problem. Then appeal rating is at 30%. Yeah, appeal goes up when we have more uh, appealing dinosaurs. We only have like three types right now, so. That's not really going to be uh, anything crazy just yet, but let's go to guests. Uh, let's go to monorail station. So we'll place this down. Oh, yeah, I forgot how huge this was. Oh, wait, did they change this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it's just been a little while. I completely forgot. Uh, but let's see. I could make this like at an angle or... Yeah, you know what? I could do it like that. Yeah, like this. It's probably about as good as this will get, honestly. So we could place it like about right here. We could actually see the... Uh... Yeah, okay, so where it's orange actually makes more sense than... Yeah, we... so we could place it right here. It's going to be a stop right there. Oh, man, we have a uh, flying reptiles 2A. We, we, get, we can get a bunch of new critters, you guys. Cool. Let's actually place down the uh, pathway over here. And uh, we we'll have to look at the map while we're building this. Oh, man, I have to build, like, tracks and stuff here. Well, how do I pull that up again? <laughs> so there we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, cool. Uh, but I also, yeah, see, like, right here is, like, orange. So I, I could place one, like, right here, but I, I really do feel like over here would make more sense. So maybe, I don't know, maybe, like, right here, honestly. Just because of how orange that is, or... Hmm... Sure, by the pylon. So now, now that pylon's actually in the way, maybe I should actually move that, like, right now, honestly. <laughs> yeah, probably should, honestly, yeah. So let's try and move that pylon a little bit here. And I think pylons move instantly, so I don't have to worry about them, so I'll just place it like this. There you go, and then do it like this. Is that connected up? I don't think that's connected up, unfortunately. There we go, now it's connected up. Okay, cool. So uh, now we can get rid of that pylon, just straight up. There you go. <laughs> then we'll place down the uh, other monorail stop right here. Just because I do like that, how it's kind of angled right here. Yeah, like this. Like at the corner, I like that. I really do. Boom. Oh, it changed the terrain. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to smooth out the terrain. I forgot to mention that, yeah. I, I even mentioned it last episode. I completely forgot to actually do it. But I do know we could have a monorail that just goes straight, like, back and forth. We don't have to have it go, uh, and then, of course, we just made this go over this and get some good dinosaur visibility. And, uh, let's see. It goes, it goes over the response facility a little bit, but, uh, oh, there you go. Cool. But yeah, we can just make it go back. It doesn't have to be a circle. It can be if I want to, but, you know, leaving room here for expansion and stuff like that, right? But at least we're going to get some good dinosaur visibility, especially there in the middle where we don't have any uh, dinosaur visibility because of the viewing platform or the viewing galleries over here. We don't have any viewing platforms to make up for them, so the monorail is definitely going to make up for that, so that's good. Is this uh, connected up? Does this have a pathway? I don't think it does. Uh, then we'll just place it like there in the middle. Boom, cool. I'll actually smooth out the land here just because I do not like how nasty and wonky it looks here. Let's see, smooth and radius. Let's make that boom. Okay, let's try and smooth this out. Yeah, it would have made more sense trying to do it beforehand, like before I placed all this down, but at least afterwards I could still smooth it out a little bit. You can kind of see it there with the uh, topographical 
or topological, or whatever the word is, lines that I have uh, overlaid right now. So there you go. Try to make that look a little bit better, just so we don't have like random platforms and plateaus all over the place <laughs> whenever I place down uh, buildings and stuff, right? Let's do the same thing over here. Yeah, see like right there, you can see all the lines kind of forming around that uh, attraction right there. Yeah, I don't want to have too much of that or else it'll make the whole entire area just look like trash. So there we go, cool. But there you go, so there's the monorail. They're building the monorail. Okay, so they built it up to there. All the blue over here is where they're planning to build. Yeah, I built it like kind of backwards there, but whatever. <laughs> it goes above the hotel, which is crazy. No one's going to be able to sleep there with a monorail going over them every single day. But there you go. So we have a little bit of transportation right now. We're at 67%. Once this is done, hopefully the, the rating is going to jump up to like 90%. If not, then I guess we'll place down a few more restrooms, shelters, all that kind of stuff, and that should cover it. We're uh, over 5 million right now in the bank, which is really good. Over 2 stars, that's also really good too. So how's our money right now, considering we're at uh, 2 stars? Financials. Yeah, we're over 200,000. Nice, I love that. Yeah, look at, look, at the, look at the money right here. Income just shot up right there. I think that's from the attraction. Is that when I placed down the attraction? Uh, What is it called? Guest attraction over here? I think it might have been, yeah. Uh, So we're at 67% right now. How much is this done? It's almost done. Yeah, look at that. Boom, they're almost done here. Just gotta keep building there. And then whenever it's done, hopefully it's gonna open up and our guest comfort is gonna shoot up, right? Is it gonna shoot up? Oh, hey, look at that comfort right there. Or transport. Transport. Guests having travel long distance, or guests having to travel long distances on foot to get to the attractions will lower transport rating. Yeah, it's kind of self explanatory there, right? Uh, now they're gonna tell us about monorails. Yep, yep, yep. Once the park starts to spread across a wire area, construct a monorail to connect all areas and improve transport rating. Yep, we just did that. Literally tell me <laughs> what to do right after I already did it. I don't know what the timing is on this. Then uh, transport rating is a component of guest comfort. Yeah, we figured that out earlier on in the episode, right? But boom, there you go. Cool. It's now uh, operational show view. So what was this? Oh, whoa, did you guys see that? Everything just turned green right there. The viable candidates from Sorna are arriving. Let's get them settled in. Okay, it looks like uh, Gallimimus is imminent. Cool. All right, well, yeah, the monorail isn't going right now, so we can't really see anything happening, so. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, am I? Did we do it backwards, man? Oh, hey, 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 there's the monorail. Here we go. Look at that. You can see the trikes right there. Yes, this is what I'm talking about with the uh, the, the, the dinosaur visibility here, especially here in the middle. This is going to help out a ton, but they're, they're delivering Gallimimus. I think they should be uh, able to get along with the trikes and the ankylosaurus, right? Uh, so I don't think we need to construct an, another area for them. I think, hold on. Let me let me look it up real quick, though. But I think it's called like Ornitho something something Lamus Stegosaurus. Okay, so we've done like Stegosaurus, we've done like other Triceratops. That's what the Ceratops is right there is, and of course carnivores. So doesn't say anything about Ornitho something Mimus. Uh, where in the world that's? I saw a Stego here just a minute. Oh, there he is. Or uh, not Stego, uh, Ankylosaurus. Oh yeah, see he likes Ornitho Mimosaurids. That's what the name is right there. He also likes Sauropods, Compies, Sir. Okay, yeah, Ceratops is right there. That's oh wait, Hatchersaur. No, 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 yeah, that's the Parasaur, yeah, 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 I was about to say, and then of course Pachycephalosaurid right there too, so yeah, at least the Ankylo gets along with a lot of different critters here, which is awesome, or at least he likes them, uh, I, I guess the Trike is just kind of indifferent about those other things there, but yeah, should be good to go with the uh, Gallimimus here, let's actually, hold on, go back to the uh, Ankylo there, let's look at the cohabitation, oh, he wants a little, little bit more ground leaf, a little bit more ground fruit, let's take care of that real quick, ground leaf, is that like right there, yeah, there you go, ground fruit, where's that at? There you go. Please like right there. There we go. Cool. <laughs> All right. Nice. Hopefully the trike didn't care too much about that, right? Yeah, here we go. Here's the here are the pack of trikes. Cool. And yep, they're still at 100% right there. Awesome. But yeah, if we go over to where is it? What was I looking at? Cohabitation. Yeah, they're fine right now. Cohabitation. Uh, they're actually in a completely different area over here, so they don't even know about the ankylos over here. That's why their cohabitation is at zero, which is awesome. But we're getting eight Gallimimuses right here. Yeah, transport all these bad boys. Plant them down in like every corner. That way, just like we uh, learned in the, not last scenario, but the scenario before last scenario. Uh, if we place them all over the heckin' herbivore area right here, they'll actually get the transport. Or, uh, what's it called? Territory rating. They'll actually, uh, discover the territory of the entire enclosure a little bit faster, which is going to be great. Which makes sense when you spread them out like that. They're eventually going to discover each other and hang out in packs and all that kind of stuff anyways, right? So, might as well actually get the, uh, and of course you could actually discover their, oh man, this is actually low. You discover their, uh, comfort rating, or, uh, what do you call it? Is it, is it, yeah, yeah, comfort rating. Get the, uh, rangers over here, look at their comfort. There we go. Oh yeah, actually someone, uh, commented I should uh, name the rangers different names, especially because of how big the park is going to be here in the future. Let's name this one, Response Facility, Front, or, uh, yeah. Rain oh, yeah, you know what, Front Rangers. There you go, Front Rangers. Cool. 
More dinosaurs, yay! Nothing can go wrong, like ever. We can get more species using the Expedition Center. This is a good idea, someone once said. Delivery All right, completed. that sounds great, you guys, especially because look at that, continuing to get more flying reptile-like stuff here. We could actually get the aviary now, as well as the, uh, as we saw earlier, I think. How do I pull that up again? F there! Oh, what? man, I did fossils that time. Man. <laughs> I wanted to do research. There we go. But yeah, we saw, here we go, flying reptiles. We could actually research different uh, dig sites for flying reptiles. So it seems like right now we have to dive Morphodon location unlocked. Then here in the future, we can get the Pteranodon and Trachyognathus, as well as the Tapahara or Tapajara, however you want to pronounce that. And how in the world do you pronounce that? Geostermbergia? Geostermbergia? Something like that. <laughs> but uh, if we look at the... Or, can I look at... Oh, yeah, I can't even look at it right now because we don't have the Expedition Center yet, unfortunately. So, yeah, we'll definitely have to take care of that next episode, you guys, when we come back. But for right now, just looking at the park, how much different it looks right now compared to last episode. We got the monorail going right now. Let's look at the monorail again. Show the view of the monorail. Yeah, look at that. You can see the trikes right there, which is crazy cool. And I think if we go to the management views... Yeah, you can see the big circle moving around the monorail right there. Really cool stuff. Awesome. Dinosaur visibility right now is 100%. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm like, thankfully, no dinos are in this random middle bit right there. But uh, while I'm doing... Oh, whoa. Transmit. Oh, okay. Another uh, park rating thing right here. Okay. 365,000 income per minute right now. And of that, profit is 215,000. So that's amazing right there, too. You guys love that. Uh, real quick, though, before I do end off the episode, I do need the... Oh, a status check. That's what it's called. I, I was talking at like comfort rating, all the kind of stuff. I'm like, you have to do a status check to check up on the comfort rating. Uh, but I do need the rangers to check up on the stag or uh, what are they called? Yalamimus is over here. Just so we can make sure, unless they're already on their way. Are they on their way? Because, uh, yeah, yeah, they're on a status check right there. They are. Where are they? The rangers right there. There they are. And they're going to go check up on that guy. Okay. Yeah, speed through all that. Uh, thankfully, yeah, see, like I said, even though we spread them out earlier on, they did discover each other here, so they're all just kind of hanging out. <laughs> yep. And we did a status check on them right there successfully, I think, right? Yep. And, oh, wow, they're already 100% right there. I don't have to worry about anything. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's check out on the other guys. There's one right there just kind of waiting in the water. Look at how big they are compared to the heckin' G-Wagon Jeep thing back there. Crazy. And another one over here, and of course they're cohabitating with the uh, Anklo, no problemo. Really cool. Awesome. Well, we don't have to worry about these guys at all. Oh, man. It was like, kind of like making a noise right there. Look at, the, look at this close up. This is crazy. All right. I guess I'll just do my outro. I'm looking at these Galamimes this year. Oh, he's pecking his friend. <laughs> I love these little animations where they're just kind of interacting with each other. That's so cool. But yeah, next time we come back, as you can see down there, they want me to start doing some expeditions for dinosaur fossils and all that kind of stuff. That way we could actually get more dinosaur species in the park. And of course, it's going to raise up our appeal rating and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, so we're at 32% right now. Definitely want to get more uh, dinosaurs up here uh, just so we get more appeal. You know, dinosaurs are actually, like, crazy high in appeal rating because, like, Gallimimus over here is only, like, what? 26 stars for appeal rating? Well, if we look at, like, a T-Rex over here, I think it's, like, well over a 1,000, right? Where is he at? Nah, I don't know where he's at right now. Man, I might have to look at the management... Or, uh, whoops, not that. Map view. There he is. There he is. There's the T-Rex. How many uh, star rating? 1266. That's what I'm talking about. He's way more appealing than the Gallimimuses. Even though we can get like a billion Gallimimuses. Even all of them added together doesn't equal a heckin' T-Rex when you're talking about appeal rating, right? Oh, whoa. What's happening with the Anklo and the, and the Jeeps or the Rangers or whatever? I thought they were attacking him. Thankfully not. <laughs> but either way. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, he's panicking. Oh, he still wants a little bit more ground fruit. Man. Let me keep adding that. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Like I said, when we come back, we're going to have to is that good no now the ground leaf is red again <laughs> man when we come back we'll have to take care of uh discover more uh dinosaur species with expeditions and all the kind of stuff we'll make the expedition an uh, expedition a center and uh hopefully dig up some like pteranodons or a dime well right now we can only dig up dimorphodons but we need to do research to actually get to pteranodons and all those other things too so definitely look forward to that next episode you guys finally going to be getting some new things just like uh <sighs> Earlier on in the heckin' entire playlist, we did uh, stuff with the aviary for like 20 minutes <laughs> in the main campaign of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And then we just kind of moved on. Now we're finally going to return and actually make the aviary and uh, hopefully do a lot more with it. As well as uh, maybe like five episodes from now, we'll actually get that lagoon. That'll be really cool, you guys. Or maybe next episode. Who knows? Who knows when that's actually going to happen, right? But until then, I guess I'll just do the outro right now. And by the way, yeah, look at the transport rating. Everything's green around here. This is amazing. Can I see the transport rating on this? Yeah, transport rating is 100% amazing. It went from like 30-something to 100%. And with just one little, small little monorail like that. That's crazy good. 
But either way, like I said, I'm going to have to end off the video right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory mode comes out. Because like I said, you do not want to miss what's coming up next with the flying reptiles and the aviary and lagoons and all that kind of stuff that we're going to be getting into next episode and the coming episodes. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel so you don't miss out on any of that stuff. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Jurassic World Evolution 2 in Chaos Theory Mode. Oh, bye there. Oh.